Hey everybody, Munker Wrench Mike here. I am back with another walk around video. Thanks to my good friends at IAAI Insurance Auto Auctions. Do they have some cars and trucks or what? Check all of these vehicles out. The one we're gonna start with is back there in the back. It's a beast of a vehicle and I have been looking for one of these for a long, long time. They're hard to find because once you get these things, you keep them. Why? Because they're huge. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? All right, it looks like snow. That's hail, folks. Rolls Royce Dawn. Oh my goodness, why is my life so fun? Come on, car, you're floored. I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm say, in the car. Okay, we're working our way back to this beast of a vehicle. Yep, they got these cars in here. They have so many on the lot, they got to pack them pretty tight. All kinds of cool cars, but this is it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. This is the supersized SUV. This is the Ford Excursion, baby. This thing is humongous, and it will tow anything you ask it to tow. Look at the state of the hitch right there. Yeah, this thing has been worked and worked and worked. You got the split doors back here, which is really, really cool. In fact, let me put my little bag down and my uh, Eskimo Joe's coffee mug. Thank you very much. It is a much cooler day than uh, we were at her two weeks ago. It was 110. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's probably 85. And I had a very nice gentleman drive by in a truck and offer me some water. Yeah, super nice people out here. Check this out. This is one of the reasons people like, is it, oh, it's locked. Well, dadgummit, okay. Well, this pops up, the doors open, kind of like barn doors, and you can get anything in the back. This is a big, 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 big car. Yeah, I'm still walking, still walking up the side of it. I'm looking for damage. I don't see anything right on this side. Okay, tires look pretty good. We have some issues that'll, that'll buff right out. This is a green, it's like a dark forest green. This is a 2005 Ford Excursion. No damage, no damage, no damage. I know this is gonna go for a lot of money because people just love these things. Here's a little bit right here. Here's a little bit of damage just right there. I wish I could, Dad, it! how am I gonna get inside and see what she's, like we're going to, have to go over here and then crawl over i guess that's okay it's worth it we'll have an excursion inside the excursion here it is she is big oh, 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 oh. wow okay and she has been used she has been used very very heavily okay let's like the back looks like Okay. See? Oh, we're missing some seats. But look, look, look at the size of the tire right there. Even with the third row seats, you've still got three or four feet behind them to put stuff. And you can see, better look at the doors, the barn doors back there. This is a giant vehicle. There we go. A good cleaning. You know, you see all those cleaning videos on TikTok now. That's a thing. This could use one. The fabric isn't damaged, so it'll clean up nice. And it could use a good little wax job. Yeah, but let's crawl in and see what it's like. How many people could you get in this if you had third row seating? Because you can get three in the front, three, six, seven, eight, nine, probably plus two or three more in the back if they didn't want a seat. Okay, so we do have some damage right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're in. This is it, I guess this is for your trailer brakes. Little cell phone holder right here. Oh, we just fixed that. Okay, we just put that back in. Thank you very much. Old fashioned key. <laughs> you can probably get a remote on eBay for $9 and get it to work with a car. That's what I did for my 2008 Mustang. Absolutely, is he gonna start? No. Dad gummit. Dad, dad, dad gummit. I really wanted her to start. 
Seriously, we have some damage right here. They tried to use some Velcro years ago. I'm sure it worked for a little while until things got heated. There we go, much better. A little PowerPoint, cup holder. Man, you're driving a school bus in this car. This is huge. Okay, let's look at the hood. Okay, we have released the hood. We'll take the keys out and put the key back right where we found it. Okay, let's look at the engine. Oh, okay, what's this? A little shell, a little bitty. I don't even know what that would be. Teeny tiny. We'll put it right here. Okay, let's see what the engine looks like. Mm -hmm. There you go, there's your Triton 5.4 liter. That is a big monster engine and your old interstate battery with lots of corrosion around it. Holy guacamole. Could you imagine trying to change spark plugs and everything in this car because they're back under there the engine starts here the engine is a good two and a half feet behind the bumper look at the radiator that's huge look at the fan that's even bigger wow Ooh. this may change my mind about these i don't want to work on that engine i really don't i have to get a ladder and then a board to lay on so I could work on it and try not to break anything like a clip like this. Look at that, humongous. Does it run? I don't know, I would say so. Why is it here? That's not a lot of damage. This, I don't think this would cause the insurance company to salvage the vehicle. I really don't. And the paint is certainly savable. It is super savable. So there you have it. This is the, f oh, big old girl. There it is, 2000 and, what is it? 2005 Ford Excursion in Forest Green. Let me take you back to 1997 and the best that America could offer. Yep, the Lincoln Town Car. This one has 205,000 miles on the odometer. And I, I gotta say, I kinda like the blue. You know, this is the executive series, so it's loaded. You know, some lady executive loved, loved, loved this car. It's a big car, but look how stately this is. And you're not gonna believe how much room is in the back seat or the trunk of these things. Yeah, this, woo, is this open? No. Can I open it? No, doggone it. Okay, just take my word for it. The trunk is huge, no damage. No damage, no damage. Missing the centerpiece on the wheels. There is some tread left on the tires. No damage, no damage. A couple of scrapes right here. You, you're gonna need a tire there, okay. But look at this. I like the light blue, I really, really do. What color do you think the inside is? Dark blue? I think so, or maybe gray, what is it? Let's see, it's blue. It's blue, baby. Woo! Look how comfortable these seats are. Is this dust? Oh, it's a rocking chair. Okay, well, that's, a, that's part of the executive package, I guess. It's a rocking chair. Okay, let's just see what it's like. Oh, oh. You can go, oh crap, you can go way back. Here we go. You can drive like this. Let me show you. Yeah, for all the kids, you're driving like this, basically. You can drive with your foot. <laughs> this will go all the way back. Okay, now I can't get up. Ugh. All right, let's check out the dash, which is in perfect condition. The Blue Bomber, that's exactly what I would call this car. And it will take you anywhere you wanna go. Okay, I think it's gonna be dead. Yeah, the battery. Okay, let go. Here's your key right here, which is really super nice. Let's see what the trunk is like. You wanna see what the trunk is like? I do, in a weird, weird, weird way. I like this. Look how the, the, 
dash comes around to the door, comes around and then it goes down and everything is so padded. Look at this. Ah, uh, I guess you can lock the trunk with the key, maybe. Look at that, okay. We'll see what the trunk is. <laughs> Here it is. Yep, like I told you, a giant, giant trunk. Somebody was a gardener. Somebody was a gardener that had this car. You could even put stuff up there. How much? Wow. What's the joke? How many bodies could you fit in the back of a Lincoln? Yeah, a lot. Okay. Maybe that, if there was power, that would close. Let's look at the back seat. See what's going on here. This is in really good shape. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, please. You could travel forever. Wow, in this thing. This is really, really nice. I don't know why they disconnected the seat though. One bolt. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna try to figure it out. I really am not. But the interior, a couple of missing little pieces. You could glue that. This part you could fix. In fact, I just did. I just fixed it right there. No sunroof or moonroof. That's okay. Look at the view out of this thing. Oh, this is cool. We gotta look at the engine. We really gotta look at the engine. All right. Unlike now, they give you a little arrow to indicate which way to move the latch so the hood opens. Of course, this one doesn't work. What's wrong? What's wrong here? Come on. Here it goes. There it is. Wow. She needs some little WD-40 or something. Look at her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is there coolant? Uh, no. There's no coolant, that's kind of worrisome. AC port, AC port. Where is your dipstick? Here it is, right here. Let's see what's on this. Okay. Okay. Engine oil. It's within range, and I've seen much, much, much worse. Go back in. Go back in. Should we give her a start? Oh, I got. Ugh, 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 ugh. Okay. Should we give her a start and see if she does? I don't know. Let's let's think about it for a second. All right, that's gonna do it for the uh, '97 Lincoln Town Car Executive Series. I gotta tell you, in a weird way, I really like it. So we have the key. We'll put the key right back up here for us. That's kind of where we found it. Um, and a clock right up here. I, in a really strange way, I love this car. Oh, you can adjust the steering. How fancy is that? Wow. Okay, 205,000 miles. So this was the best that Merce, uh Oh, it's been on. Okay, so it used to go on the uh, turnpike system right here. You have uh, O'Reilly, 190,807. Uh, and now it's got 2022. So you do need to get the uh, oil changed, which I might if I buy the car. I think this is hilarious. But this is the best that America could offer. Here's a little wasp. I hate those wasps. I compare everything to my little S500 from 1997 that I love. This, in a weird way, is comparable. The door doesn't sound the same when you close it. You don't get that bank vault, ka-chunk. But how cool is this car? Look how long it is. Woo! Finally, how about a Beamer? Yep, this is a 236,000 mile 2008 BMW 335i with little dimples. She looks like, yeah, she has some hail damage. 
but how hard could 236,000 miles be on a BMW? Well, let's kind of check it out. I'm trying to be good with my grammar here. I really am, and even when I was on television, I used to really try my best because my favorite all-time teacher, Dr. Mary Merritt, one R two T's, was an English teacher and then a student council uh, sponsor. I was the uh, student council president back in the day. Thank you, still High School Pioneers, and I want her to be proud of me. So I always try to work on my grammar and speak goodly. <laughs> J.K. J.K. So this, the only damage I really see is hail damage. Yeah, she's got some dimples all over, up and down, inside. Oh, this is a surprise. Look at this. This looks new. Look how the interior has held up for 236,000 miles. Look at the wheels. I love the wheels. I really do. This is a good little car. Wow. Okay, that was a complete surprise. If you don't mind the dimples, this would be a great car for somebody. I really think so. Let's just kind of sit down and we're gonna hunker down and see what she's got. I don't think she has any power, but we'll find out. Okay. These aren't the most comfortable seats for a three series, but it's better than, better than others. That Nissan was hard as a rock. Oh, we may have power. Let's try it. Here we go. Well, we're... Oh, she's trying. She is really, really trying. Okay. Stop. Stop. Just stop it. Stop it. You don't have to clean the windshield for me. Thank you. Stop. Yeah, doggone it. Okay. Why are we doing this? Stop. 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 How long is this going to go on? Huh? Stop! Okay, we're just gonna take it out. Okay, we're just gonna leave it right there. Okay. Doggone it, I wanted her to start. Woo. Let's just see what the engine looks like. Because you know Mike likes his beamers. Even though they've driven me crazy and given me lots of gray hairs. Let's just see. This would be a good car for somebody. Oh. Okay. Those tires have lots of tread left. I mean, a lot. Those tires are like new. Okay, we're missing the little plastic engine cover. That's okay. Coils look okay. Um, okay, well, we've got... Huh. We got a couple of air filters. That's nice. That doesn't look stock. What is this? Okay, let's check out our antifreeze. Ooh. There is some in there. It looks kind of, oh, kind of milky. This could have a head gasket. I don't know. I don't want to make those predictions. I can't. So anyway, I'm sure the engine's fine. Yep. I'm sure the engine's fine. I just gotta get this to go on. There we go. Yep, the inside of this reminds me of the Bummer Beamer. Yep, my 135i. Gave me lots of headaches. But, other than that, maybe she's a good car. That's different, so they've changed out the air intake. Ugh. Okay, well, here you have it. Interior looks great. Engine bay, eh. And the hood, 
Ding, 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 ding. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna move on. There you have it. Your 2008 Beamer 335, 236,936 miles. Okay, that's gonna do it for yet another IAAI walk around video. Big thanks to Cliff, the general manager out here at the Tulsa location. Super nice guy, super nice staff. All kinds of vehicles. This one tells a story. I don't want to look inside, but I'm going to. She, yeah, okay, there's a lot that happened there. But this might be a good little Beamer for somebody. Yeah, how about that? Or an Infiniti, or a Kia Rio. Rio, there is something for everybody out here. So if you uh, have a chance, go ahead. Check out IAA, they have a great app, it's easy to use, you can bid on it, you can win cars, you don't have to be a dealer, and you can be sitting pretty in a beautiful vehicle for very little money. All right, folks, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.